Hi everyone, Jen here from JennyandTeddy.com. So in this video, we are going to make the easy crochet cow neck poncho. This poncho is beginner friendly as always and work up is very quick. I think you will love it. And you can also get the free writing pattern on my blog with the step-by-step -step photo tutorial very detailed and i will put the link in the description below the size is available from size small to 3xl and you can also follow me on instagram to see the new pattern update so the basic construction we make a two identical rectangle you can see and then we will join them together at the top to create a shoulder and using the yarn needle to sewing to join them. And then we will create the ripping band for the cow neck separate and attach them to the poncho body by sewing as well. And um, that's all we done. I hope you guys um, like the tutorial and let's get started. So what you will need is a crochet hook size, 6 mm crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn I use is um, for medium weight yarn. I would recommend the um, pen box yarn. It's called um, Simply Alan and it's 100% acrylic and it's for medium weight. You can use any for medium weight yarn for this pattern. Or you can use, um, I try on the cotton, cotton DK weight yarn, you can do it by whole double. If you use cotton DK, you hold double stand when you crocheting. But if you use the um, full medium, you just um, use the only one stand. The cotton DK weight yarn when you hold double, it will be a little bit um, different from the um, the acrylic yarn. It's a, it will be a little bit bigger, maybe one or two inch of the size from the pattern. And that will be okay. Don't worry about it. And so in this pattern, I use um, for medium weight yarn. So just in case to, um, if you don't have four medium and you have um, cotton DK, you can use the DK weight by whole double. So let's get started. So in this example size, it's with size small to medium. The foundation chain is a multiple of two or in even number so we start with the slip knot and then we will chain 54 for size small to medium one two three four five six seven eight 9 and 10 and I will go off the camera and meet you at 54 chain hi guys now I have 54 chain already and I will measure up my chain my foundation chain for size small to medium will be um,
about 18, 17 to 18 um, inch. But when you stretch, stretch the um, the foundation chain, I will be very stretching them. If you stretching them a lot, you will get about um, 24 inch. If you not stretch, we will get from 17 to 18 inch. This one is for medium bed. I have done um, with the cotton decay bed yarn by whole double and use the same crochet hook size is six millimeter crochet hook. So I hold double when I crocheting with the cotton decay bed yarn. I will measure my chain. My chain is about um, 19 to 20 inch, so it's not much different. It's different about um, about two inch. So if you have the cotton DK weight and you hold double and you don't have any um, acrylic yarn of a uh, full medium weight you can use this one the cotton decay and the uh, in is um, just different by two two inch that will be fine because um, the shape of the uh, poncho sweater is just um, it's basically we just make a big rectangle and it's not much different so you can use it both but if you like the hot weather I prefer to use the cotton and in the pattern I use the acrylic yarn because um, maybe it's um, for the cold weather people so I use this one so you can use both just to explain that how the difference so I hope you like it and on And we will start on row one. Row one, we will do a um, single crochet in each chain across. Just do simple single crochet in each chain across until the end of the row. Just do single crochet one single crochet in each chain across until the end of the row from this row on i'm not counting the stitch i just measure in inch because i think um, it's more um, easier for me to measure in inch i only count for the foundation chain So we will keep making um, single crochet until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of the row here. And then we will start on um, row 2 of the, the linen stitch or the moss stitch. Hi guys, now I am at the end of row 1. We will um, chain one and turn and on row two row two we will start to do the um, the linen stitch or the moss stitch which is very easy we will do single crochet in the next stitch from hook this one hook and this one single crochet in this stitch next stitch from hook single crochet then we will chain one, skip one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch. So you see the chain. And we will keep repeating this by chain one keep one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch 
chain one skip one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch just keep repeating this until the end of the row I meet you at the end of the row here just chain one skip one stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch I'm now at the end of row 2 we will chain 1 and turn on row 3 row 3 we will just do a single crochet in the chain space from the previous row one single crochet chain 1 skip one stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch so we will do the one single crochet in the chain space from the previous row. We will do chain one, skip one and one single crochet in next. Chain one, skip one stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. And we will keep doing this by chain one, skip one stitch and one single crochet in the chain space from the previous row chain one skip one stitch and one single crochet in the chain space from the previous row and keep doing this until the end of the row i will meet you at the end of the row here now I am at the end of row um, 3, we just do a um, single crochet and then chain 1, skip 1 stitch and in the last, in the last, in the last um, chain we will do a um, single crochet in the turning chain from the previous row single crochet chain one and turn and we will keep repeat doing row three row after row until we have um 22 inch long this way 22 inch long just repeat row three by single crochet in the chain one space from the previous row and then chain one skip one single crochet in the next chain space chain one skip one single crochet in the next chain space from the previous row repeat row three until we have um 22 inch long this way if you want the um, poncho sweater to be a longer you can do like um, 25 inch but I will um, finish at 22 and I will meet you there so now I have about 22 inch long this way and after this we will attach the ripping band on the sides so we will make a two ripping band for attach on the side of this pon poncho sweater and now we are going to create a ripping band two of them to attach to the poncho on the side so uh, the ripping band um, is about two, two inch two and a half inch thick if you want the ripping band to be bigger you can add more chain to the foundation chain so in this pattern, I will chain um, 10 chain, start with a slip knot and then chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After we have ten chain already, I will measure my chain. It's about oh, three and a half inch. Round one, we will make half double crochet in each chain across. One half, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet. One half double crochet, one half double crochet until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you will chain one and turn, and on row two, we will do one half double crochet in back loop only. So here the front and the back. So half double crochet in back loop. One half double crochet in back loop. One half double crochet in back loop. One half double crochet in back loop. Keep going. One half double crochet in back loop. 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 So you can see the ripping band just start to coming along. At the end, we chain one and turn. And we will repeat row two by just making one half double crochet in back loop until you get the length to matching the length of the poncho on the side. So. We make the poncho, um, the rectangle is long about 22 inch. So your ripping band will be long about 22 inch the same. And so keep repeating this. And you get the length like this, about 22 inch long to matching the length of the poncho. And we make this um, two of them, and then we will attach to the poncho together. Just make the ribbing band two of them, and we will attach them to the poncho by sewing. So now I finished um, two ripping band and I will attach them to the rectangle to the poncho body by sewing using the yarn needle. I'm finished attach the ripping band to one side already and I will do on the other side and we'll meet you there. Hi guys, so um, I did attach the ripping band to both sides of the poncho and we will do the same for the second, second panel of the poncho sweater and I will meet you there. Just do the same, make the rectangle and then make the ripping band separate and then attach them. So we will do it on another piece and I will meet you there. Um, so now I finish um, 
two rectangles already and have attached the ripping band to both of them and now we are going to assemble the piece together join them together to create the open neck and we will attach the cow neck after this now we are going to create the open neck by join them together the two pieces um, for the open neck um, I will do for about 9 inch or maybe 8 inch put your stitch marker on and this Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, I I will go for um, nine inch and use the stitch um, the yarn needle sew along here. And this one no sew and this one sewing. I'm finished joining now and we will do on the other side here. I will meet you there. So now I finished um, attaching two pieces together already here. I am only attached um, on the top, on the side, I'm not attaching. So now we are going to add the um, cow neck. The cow neck is so simple. We just made a ripping band like this, but a bit um, bigger to attach around the the open neck. So the ripping band will be um, look like this here, and then we will start to attach them to the collar like this. The length of the ripping band that we are going to make is depend on how big of your open neck is. So we will attach them like this. So we will start to do the ripping band for the um, collar, uh, for the cow neck. Hang on, I will just um, cross, cross up. So we will start with the chain, 46 chain. Slip knot. And then chain 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. I will go off the camera and meet you at 46 chain. Now I have a 46 chain already. It's about 16 inch. And then on row 1, we will do the ripping band by um, half double crochet in each chain across until the end of the row. Just making one half double crochet. Making one half double crochet in each chain across, and I will meet you at the end of the row here. Now I am at the end of row one. We just chain one and turn. Then we will do um, half double crochet in back loop only, row after row to create the ripping band.
roll after or until you get the length that will be uh, matching the open neck of the poncho so here the open neck and the uh, whipping band it will be um, the length it will be matching for the length of the open neck around the neck um, my one is um, I did it for uh, 9 in for the open neck and this one is probably about I got it about um, 20, 21 inch. So after we have the open neck already, the piece, this one, I got about 21 inch long. And on the next clip, we will attach them to the open neck together. Had the uh, ripping band to the the big the big ripping band to the open neck. I will be using a yarn needle and attach them. So now I finish attach the big whipping band to the open neck already by sewing and that's all we done for the poncho sweater. I hope you guys like the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.